Hey, then welcome to another edition of Robert Bubbles. That chaps my ass. We're gonna get right into it because my ass is chapping as we speak. Pierce Morgan, some douchebag commentator on some worthless CNN show, has said that white people that say the N word should be put in jail. Well, listen here, you British fuck. We have a constitution. The same one allows you to speak against the country that allows you to do it. Now, I'm not saying we should be saying it, but the same Americans died for you to have that right. Now, shut the fuck up. Wait, we got a constitution. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's put half of Obama in jail since he is half white. He is not the first black president. He is the first half black president. Let's get that straight. Now, on that note, shut the fuck up. And next, cute cuddly pigs with warm fuzzy saves. That's great. Doesn't hurt nobody. Don't offend nobody until the politically correct fucking bullshit. That if I don't like your fucking pick, I hate animals or women or children. I love animals. Hell, I got two dogs. I ain't gonna fucking eat them. And I love women. My wife, my mother, my sister, aunts, cousins. And I like children. I got one. A daughter. So that's a woman and a child. All in fucking one. So, on that note, here's a pick. Freeze frame that so many fucking likes you get. None? Guess what? My feelings ain't hurt. All right. The last thing. Hypocrisy and religion and politics. That's right. The liberal media quick to say that the douchebag in South Carolina killed them poor people up there in the church is a white terrorist. He is. And guess who else is? Fucking Muslim. That's right. They won't say it. The Boston bomber, jackass Sarnaya, blew up a bunch of innocent people. And guess what? He was sentenced to death today. Woo! Love it! However, they were upset about us killing Muslims overseas. But not at Muslims killing Muslims by the thousands every day. They're called ISIS. They're fucking Muslims! Get it straight! That also comes back to here. The same with the murder rate among young black kids. Thousands every day. This year, in Chicago alone, where's the media? Fucking quiet! Race baiters and the protesters, their job depends on that. We're not going to tell you about the thousands of young black kids, bless their hearts, that get killed every day by young fucking black kids! Now, get it straight, and that's what's chipping my ass today!